As the day ends, the warm sun descends, and nighttime encloses a bit of farewell to the glow upon the roses. The hermit thrush departs, the nightly transition starts, the shadows are growing, the stars now enclosing. The moon now raising high, shining bright upon the surface in which I lie. The sky's not dark, nor is it bright, it casts a dim light as it's barely day or night. Partially in between, still the atmosphere serene. Though less to see of the daily beauty, the nightly beauty grows as the hopeful rays dispose. Skies but diluted from all the days contributed. The sky is no longer blue, but rather a crossfade of red to yellow through. The surface in which I lay may be barely visible, but soon I will see what once was invisible. This marks a gracious opportunity to see that in which day doesn't display so openly. The great mysteries of the night will soon appear before us, bringing great delight. The beauty of dusk is not far different from that of dawn, but rather than the opposite, as the sun is withdrawn. The opportunity of day may be gone, but as one door closes, another opens, and so we must move on. Treasure greatly the new things you saw and felt, for soon you will see another source where all is dull. Favor the dusk and what it brings. Savor the ability to see these once invisible things. Through the transition of dusk we see the heavenly nightly view. And from out the night we see both the sight and the day of the 